though by the time you watch this video I will be back home editing videos as normal. I thought I would take this opportunity to film while I'm still here and also do a face to face because I feel like I don't do very many face to face videos on this channel so I thought it would be kind of nice to do one. And I thought I would show you guys all of the planner and stationery stuff I brought with me on this trip and then just kind of go through what I actually used and what I didn't use. I have this habit of always overpacking. I can't help it. I'm always very insecure so I just bring a lot more than I actually need and then I end up using like a third of what I bring and then I totally regret it because I was overweight, everything, blah blah blah. So without further ado, here is the stack of stuff I brought which was way too much and I will explain why. So I'll just go through the planners first. First planner I brought was of course my Erin Condren planner and I mean I probably didn't need to bring this in retrospect because I didn't really journal anything in it, I didn't write anything in it. So you can kind of see a half done spread of this week which really isn't done because we are currently, the day I'm filming this video is the Friday so it's just the day before we fly off back home. So we're going home tomorrow and my idea was like to document all the things we were doing except we weren't really doing very much. A lot of the time it's just spent sitting around, relaxing, eating and so I didn't know like I didn't bring all the stickers I wanted to use for the spread so I didn't really document as much as I could and I think really in retrospect I could have documented all that stuff when I got home because it's only a week long it's not that long at all so that was the first planner the second planner I brought with me was my little bullet journal which you will have seen a couple times now it's, it's got lots of random stuff in it, but nothing that really pertained to this trip. But I was still glad I took it with me because I was mostly doing a lot of brainstorming in terms of what videos I wanted to film, some content, stickers I want to make, all that sort of stuff. And I do have certain pages in my uh, bullet journal that is meant for planning ahead content, all that sort of stuff. So that's it is kind of like a working journal in that sense. I have my little packing list and my shopping list. I actually didn't buy anything on this list in the end because there is nothing to buy here in the island. We're on a resort island so there's really no shopping available. We stop over in Singapore airport um, where we transit from Melbourne to the Maldives and the prices in Singapore airport for some of the stuff there is really expensive. I don't know, I used to think they were really cheap but I think just now with internet and online shopping it is so so much easier to buy cheaper things online. Like you can get the same thing, now I'm just kind of going off on a little bit of tangent, but if you do live in Melbourne and there's some makeup you want, try self Ridges online. It is so much cheaper just to buy it online. So, glad, did I just hit myself? Anyway, so glad I took this. Obviously I brought this one with me. This is my little watercoloring journal and I love, I, I feel like I spend more time watercoloring when I travel and I think it's just because I have a lot more time when I'm just sitting around relaxing I don't have my computer set up or like just all my things around me to do work, organizing with so I spend a lot more time just sketching so you can see I've started doing a few sketches on the holidays nothing major, just a few sketches here and there this was the day that we got casted away to one of the islands over there it's very therapeutic, it's very relaxing so I always bring this with me when we travel and I love it um, I don't know if I've done a proper walkthrough of this journal but at the back of this journal I have like so I have my watercolour pen that kind of closes it and then at the back of this journal I have this little piece of paper slotted in which is essentially a bunch of watercolours so I don't normally use this. I use this if I don't have a color in my watercolor palette that I usually bring that I really need. So, But I love this so much. It is so convenient and it's so lightweight. It just literally fits in the back of my planner. It's such a great idea because now this whole like, I could literally just walk up with just this kit. Actually, whoops. One last thing. I have a little bit of like <laughs> a napkin that I would take from a restaurant and I would just slot it in the back. Um, it's good for just cleaning out my brush. Because this is a watercoloring brush with like water in it itself, you don't need a well of water. You just need a bit of tissue paper to just kind of like wash off the color and then you just pick the next color. So this entire thing on its own is very self-sufficient and I love it. The journal I brought that I didn't really need to bring was this one. And this is my little Louis Vuitton planner. I was using this for a long time as a work journal because it was so small and easy to carry around. But I ended up not using it at all. And I think it's just because it wasn't as functional. I mean, 
I have a little Hello Kitty insects in here. I did use this initially as a travel journal um, when I was in Japan, so there's like a ton of travel information here that I'd written out when I was trying to plan out Japan, um, our itinerary for each day. By the way, if there's anything here that you want to see a little bit more detail on, then let me know. I'm happy to do that. So yeah, this is the journal that I carried with me usually when I travel, but I didn't end up using it at all. And I think it's because we weren't doing very much. We were just kind of spaced here the entire time. I've just seen the new inserts from Louis Vuitton come out for 2018. And I didn't buy them for 2017 because I just thought they were so overpriced for just inserts, like it was pointless. But this year, I feel like they've brought out a few extra things like little post-it notes and stickers and I'm kind of tempted. So I might go pick those up when I go back home. So those were all my planners. Uh, some of the other planner accessories, I guess. Um, this is my folder. Um, if you watched my original Zen Pop Box unboxing video, then you would have seen this folder come as part of it. I didn't think I would use it because I just didn't find it. I just don't know. I just like, it wasn't... Like, I'm not a fat, I'm like, I don't know the character very well, it just wasn't a huge thing for me, but I've been using this to death ever since I got it. I've used it so much. It's basically my ride or die sticker holder for when I'm moving about or when I just need, like, my core stickers at my table or my desk at home because I have so many different ways of storing stickers, but it's not feasible to have them all on my desk at the same time, otherwise my desk would just be crowded and it's crowded as it is, it doesn't need more stickers. So I at least put all my core stickers into this and it slots really easily into my Erin Condren if I wanted to travel together. But for the most part, I just love it. Yeah, I've got some headers, weather stickers, travel stickers, and then usually I've got, I've got a ton of one small love stickers in here. And then usually the latest kit that I'm using, I'll put the right at the back here as well so I can pull it out and just modify the kit as I'm going along. So love this. And the other book I got was this one, well not got, but brought with me. It is my sketchbook. So I'm not really going to go into it too much because this is actually where I sketch out all my initial ideas for kits um, or sticker ideas, all that sort of stuff. I just quickly sketch them down. The paper for this is not good at all. I think this is a Muji paper. Oh, this is a Muji notebook. And I don't think it was meant for sketching because the paper is so thin. It's actually pretty bad. But you know me, I don't like throwing things away unless they're completely used up. I just feel like it's really wasteful. So I'm just using this as a very, very rough initial sketchbook idea. And then when I get back home or when I meet up with Violet, then I can actually translate them to actual designs. So I think I need this all the time. It's kind of like my workbook. Those are all the paper books and stuff. And now onto this part, which is just my pencil case. So this doesn't fit in my pencil case, so it kind of just sat outside, but this is a Tombow acid-free marker. Um, for those of you familiar with the Tombow line, you'll know you've got one end that is like a brush, which is really great for practicing calligraphy, and then there's one side that's kind of more like texture marker, much thinner, good for writing. This is in the color black, I think N15 is the official color name for it. But I love this. I use this so much for my bullet journal and for sketching and everything like that. So I use this a lot. It's just a bit too tall to sit in here. So it's kind of sat outside. And then I use this pencil case, which I can't remember if I got this pencil case off. No, I can't remember now. I can't remember where I got it from. But I'm pretty sure you can either get it from like places like YesStar or even eBay. I just realized I had a pocket here that I didn't use. I'm not sure what I would put in there anyways, but yeah. So I'll open this up. What I like about it is that it's kind of like there's a, it opens up like this, but there's like, there's enough depth in here to store a lot of stuff, and I like that it zips right around. But this is essentially everything I brought. I go through it one by one. I have my Winston Newton watercolors. I don't use the brush that comes with it, and yet I still carry it with me. I'm not sure why, but this is the watercolor set. If you buy this in its original form, You'll have a certain number of colors, which I think I've removed two colors out and replaced them with two others. I have a pink and a purple now in here as well. I just didn't, and I put another green in here, I think. I'm not sure. I just didn't really like the original set, so I bought the set, and then I bought a couple more, like, pans, half pans, and then I just switched them out. But I love this. It's so compact. You get so much watercolor. This has lasted me a few trips now, and it's lasted me over a year. I mean, I don't watercolor as extensively as some people would, but... I love these so much, they're so good for traveling. And I'm guilty of using them at home as well, even though I have so many other watercolors I can use when I'm at home. This is just so easy to grab out. The only thing is, when I travel, sometimes I put it in my backpack and it makes this 
sound when I walk around and I feel like it's very distracting. I have a ruler. I always need a ruler, especially now that I'm bullet journaling so much more. Ruler is essential. I have this gel pen from Muji. It is 0.5. I wish I could give you a bit more information on it because it's one of my favorite gel pens despite it being so thick. I really, really love it. Just the ink flows so easily. I love I can't say that all the Muji pens are amazing, but there's definitely some gems in there, and this is definitely one of them. And then just in this little uh, flap here where you can actually put some pens in, I've got two pens from the Pilot Coletta range. So I've got a two barrel and a three barrel. So this one has a 0.4 black gel pen and a 0.3 pencil. I use this a lot just for general note taking and sketching because um, this is the only pencil I brought with me. I did think of bringing like a wooden pencil with me, which is what I typically use when I'm at home. But then you put a sharpener and it's just like a whole thing. So I decided I would just use a mechanical pencil when I was on the go. And then this one is three inks. I've got a black ink, a dark blue, and a blue ink, all point three. So it's a very, very fine tip and I love using this for my bullet journal as well. Then on the side here, you've got a panel, just kind of like a netted panel. I've got a 0.25 black ink pen. So I use black inks a lot and I like all the different types of tips because I just find, I don't know, maybe it's dependent on my mood or it depends what I'm writing, what I'm sketching, but I need all the different uh, fine tips. So there's point, so I've got a 0.25, a 0.3, a 0.4, and a 0.5. And there's, there's like, in my mind, there's a specific need for each one. I don't know if you guys are like that, but... I, like, I couldn't just bring like a 0.4 or 0.3, like I need all three because, or all five, or five, I need all four for specific reasons. I've got this one here, it is from Pentel Correction Tape, it's just a little correction tape because I use pen in all my journals, pretty much all my journals, so I can't really rub it out if I made a mistake, so I use correction tape instead. And then the last one is this eraser, which is actually from Smiggle, so this is a really old eraser, I've had it for ages, but it does the job, I love it and it's just great for correcting any sketching mistakes. So yes, that's everything I brought with me in terms of stationery. It does seem extensive, but I think if you're like a planner person, you kind of get it. If you're wondering how I travel with it, I bring all of this on my carry-on luggage, so I will have a backpack, which I usually carry with me, and then a little small wheelie bag that comes with me. I will put virtually all of this into my wheelie bag, I used to travel with my Erin Condren in my check luggage and then once when my check luggage went missing for a day, I freaked out and I was like, I would rather lose all my makeup, all my skincare, all my clothes, everything, because that stuff can be replaced, but I can't replace all the memories that I have in my Erin Condren because I document my life during the year. So I've decided now I can't lose it, so it has to come with me wherever I go so that I know it's safe. But I usually will carry either my bullet journal or this one in my backpack just because when I board the plane, the wheelie carry-on goes in the overhead compartment but my backpack is small enough to just go under the seat in front of me so I can still easily access this and watercolor on the plane, which I do a lot. It is a little more difficult on the plane because the air is so dry so I feel like the water evaporates very quickly when I'm trying to watercolor, but other than that, um, that's how I travel. So yeah, I hope you guys found this video interesting. So thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you don't want to miss any of my videos, be sure to subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. This is Lena reporting from the Maldives. Back to you today.